Yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski, and today I wanted to explain something pretty crazy. Baton pass in Pokemon actually doesn't pass stats or status ailments the same way uh, people would expect it to in a normal Pokemon game. Uh, Baton pass in Pokemon passes substitutes uh, and focus energy, which is a very you know niche critical hit raise, I believe, uh, stat raise. But it won't pass a Swords Dance, it won't pass a Dragon Dance, it won't pass Nasty Plots, nothing of the sort, which I actually love this change. So... For those who don't know, for those who haven't been playing Pokemon for a while like I have, uh, Baton Pass was absolutely broken to an extent that it was creeping over the meta in such an unhealthy, unfair, and uninteractive way. It was insane. Uh, what would happen is, and the issue is all of the best Pokemon in the, like all these powerful Pokemon get access to Baton Pass. So for example, here we're looking at Scizor. Uh, Scizor is quite literally the second most powerful Pokemon um in the game because it's literally the most second most powerful pokemon in ou uh it's pretty it's pretty easy to say that in pvp scissor is statistically the second most powerful pokemon in the entire game so see this thing this absolute versatile monster being able to get baton pass is is crazy uh i believe to my knowledge someone could correct me in the comments below but in pokemon showdown in third gen you actually can only have up to three Pokemon, I believe, with Baton Pass on your team because it is so powerful. Uh, and that's what was happening in Pokemon, where like you would see teams of five to six Pokemon all with Baton Pass. There was no reason, like it wasn't hurting your move pool enough to just give everything Baton Pass and allow it to basically free switch around and set up into whatever your opponent could possibly offer. It was, it was hard. It was hard to play against. Uh, obviously, you try to look for something like Roar or Whirlwind. That was your best counter, but usually they would have something that could suction cup down or something that could uh, ingrain or be able to stay in uh, and not be able to switch it out. And it, it was it was abysmal. It was horrible. It was unfun. I absolutely hated Baton Pass meta. I, it was probably the least I've ever played PvP in Pokemon Mo. Uh, even to this day, where I you know I obviously hate Scizor. Uh, a lot of my hate for Scizor comes from Baton Pass. It, it's an inc it's an incredibly solo driven play style as well we would call this a lot of the time in the magic the gathering community as a goldfish deck or in this you know pokemon or pokemon a goldfish play style where basically what you do doesn't matter a whole lot you're obviously trying like the whole game is you trying to stop your opponent from popping off sort of thing your whole game plan becomes disabling and trying to punch a hole through uh and hurt your opponent enough to make it so that they can't pull off their combo and it was really hard to do with Baton Pass. Uh, I'm really glad they, 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 they changed it. I'm really glad they, they really nerfed it into the ground. But honestly, it's still not horrible. It's still a neutral priority teleport, which is honestly not bad at all. Um, something that is super underutilized in Pokemon, in my opinion, is having bulky water types, especially like Slowbro or Slowking, being able to come in um, and just, just being able to have a, a really safe switch pivot Pokemon to come in and throw up teleport is really, really nice. Um, and I think Baton Pass actually still has a super solid place in Pokemon PvP, and I think it's super underutilized, but people are too kind of discouraged by the fact that it, do the fact that it doesn't pass statuses now. Um, but it's still a really nice like teleport option at neutral priority. I think it's super relevant. I think people forget about it. Uh, and I think Baton Pass is literally still a very viable PvP option is my TLDR. Uh, and I'm really glad the game goes without it. It's really It was really, really hard to answer. Um, it, it would have been, it, nowadays, thankfully, like it's, it would have been insane. Like Imagining Scizor with Technician, Baton Pass, Bullet Punch, uh, Defog, Roost. Like being able to be an insane bulky utility monster have all these options you could and the, the issue is with scissor I and mean, this comes back to scissor not just baton pass alone but being able to have all these different builds being able to be choice band scissor being able to be uh, utility scissor with the fog and roost being able to be tank scissor um he's just becomes like set up scissor with sword stance he just becomes such a versatile threat and baton pass really exuberates and exemplifies that versatility of that threat so i couldn't be happier with the baton pass change uh, obviously you could make the argument that they should have maybe just limited it to three Pokemon light gen three. And I think that's a fair argument. Like there's, that's super fair. If you obviously love the baton pass play style, you know, no, no harm, no foul. It's a super fair opinion. Um, but at the same time, 
I think it's I think it's fair to argue the opposite. I, I'm very happy with the change. I'm very happy with Baton Pass being pretty nerfed into the ground, but in my opinion, still a viable PvP option. So go ahead and go out there and try to play with Baton Pass nowadays. Uh, I think it's underrated, but anyways, I hope this video was helpful and explained to you guys a little bit the history of Baton Pass and the history of Pokemon PvP. If you like this video, hit that like button. It would help me out a lot. And subscribe for future Pokemon content. Check out all the playlist links below if you want to see more Pokemon content and consider joining my Discord, which is a super incredible community that I'm lucky to be a part of. And then finally, consider becoming a YouTube member to me for five bucks a month. If you want to go above and beyond and support my content, it means a ton. But that's it for me. I'll see you guys later. Best of luck in PvP.